Hey, you want to hear a story about you that you don't know about me? Yeah. I, uh, when I went to uh, L.A., Johnny Carson was, uh, he had six months to go, you know. So my idea was I was going to be the last comic to break on Carson, you know, getting invited over the couch, anointed, all that, you know. And uh, the guy that was the booking uh, guy, he saw me and he said, at the time Jay Leno was doing Monday Night guest hosting, and he said, you're more of a Jay comic. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not a Johnny comic? He's like, nah, you're more of a Jay comic. I don't even know what that meant, but it didn't sound <laughs> good. And uh, so I, I did, never did Johnny. Years later, I did an impression of you on Saturday Night Live, you know, uh, your uh, uh, King's Things, uh, bulletin points, and uh, so I did a parody of that on, on SNL. And I only had to slightly magnify it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I get a call from Johnny Carson, and he wants to meet with me at his, his uh, office. So I go to his office, it's just me and him. And he pulls out a whole bunch of USA Today's clips, you know, of your column. And he starts reading them. He goes, here, you take some, I'll take some. We'll read them. <laughs> and we read them. And he did a Larry King voice. And if I could have taped that, it was the most surreal. And he didn't do it on the show? He, no, no, this was after he was retired. Just in the office. Yeah, just me and him in the office, both, <laughs> both of us doing Larry King impressions. <laughs> hey, guys, Larry here. Thanks for watching me. Be sure to check out some of my other favorite Larry King Now moments right here and tune in to new episodes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.